explain what you think your sort of stamp. What, oh, what, do, you, what do you bring to it that you think that is a sort of Jodie Foster uh, style? My films are really verbal, and I I don't know why that is. Uh, I guess I like to talk. <laughs> I've always liked to talk. I like movies that talk, and uh, they're very verbal and they're incredibly fast paced. Even the even the even the more personal films that I've made, my first three films um, are really quite fast paced. Uh, they always have a little bit of comedy in them. They usually are ensembles. Um, I like to see how different people's lives and perspectives kind of intersect. If you ask what my my films are as an actor, I would say they're probably opposite all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, George in this is is great. I, I, you can almost smell his hair gel at the beginning. Yes, <laughs> he's you like... definitely can smell his bad cologne and his hair gel. Um, he's a showman. He uh, he sort of lost himself, a big egomaniac who um, doesn't care about anybody else. He's really lost himself as a journalist at the beginning of the movie, and then by the end of the film, after he's gone through this enormous journey and seen his petty failures reflected to him, really, he changes and it becomes more of a human being. And Jack O'Connell, you've cast him in this. I asked him about throwing George around. Yeah. There's one moment where he chucks him up against the wall, and I, I, I laughed while watching it just because of how how shocked George looks and I, <laughs> and I said to Jack that any other actor might have faked it just a little bit more. He seems like the kind of guy who really does throw everything into. Uh, you know, interestingly, Jack is the most committed actor I've ever worked with. Amazing. He's exhausting to watch um, because he just gives so much and he's, he's just wonderful and he's such, such a transformation in the movie. But he is in control. I mean, despite what other people see on screen, he smells very good. <laughs> he's very, very clean, and um, he he knows how to kind of have a handle on what he's doing. He's not undisciplined. So when he's throwing George against the wall, and George is really looking like he's being hurt and shocked, mm. all of that is a ruse. Oh no! Yes. It's all no, pain. I know Jack's not crazy, but I know because he played. He's quite. An, he has had intense roles, so I think people assume him to be quite intense. He has. He is an intense guy, but he also was a child actor, and he's been in the business forever. So the same as me, you know. And so I think that he really, uh, he he really admires other actors, and he really works with them and co cooperates with them. And before I go, I have to ask you about money. Yes. Um, because I've wasted a lot of money in the past on, on stuff like, I bought a portable DVD player that uh -oh. I used to watch on the bus and every time it went over a speed bump, it jumped, it was pointless. Yes. What have you wasted your money on? What, 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 what awful gadget do you have in your house that you think, I don't need that? I'm not a gadget person. I'm not a gadget person. Um, I, I think I've wasted a lot of money on travel. Um, I, I just, I love going places and um, every once in a while I'll travel someplace and I, you know, I'll stay inside and read. And I think, <laughs> well this is stupid, I could have been in Pacoima. You don't know anything about Pacoima, but trust me, you don't want to be in Pacoima. Okay, okay, but you have to get to, traveling is necessary, so you have to spend money on it, so that's not really a waste, but yeah, staying indoors that. and reading a book whilst you've got the leaning tower of pizza. <laughs> <so>. That's kind <laughs> of a waste of money, I think. A bit, yeah. yeah, who needs the view? No, no. absolutely.